Hello and welcome to a magical video because we're here to talk about magical perks. We'll go through all 24 of the spellcaster perks and reveal the best ones to invest your points into while also exposing the worst because I have truly found some of the perks to be absolutely useless. Now in the perk panel there are three perk trees, we'll call them that. They don't have an official name but from left to right I'm calling them knowledge, potions and spell power. Note that provided you're a high enough spellcaster rank, each perk in the tree unlocks the ability to snap up the perk above it. There's also an interesting assortment of random perks you can pick up which only have a spellcaster rank requirement. Alas, please subscribe and drop a like and let's get into the perks, starting with what I've named the knowledge perk tree. Note that I'm also giving each perk a rating out of 5. Knowledge is Magic is the first perk available at the Neophyte Spellcaster rank. This will enable Sims to read books and research on the computer at a faster rate. Testing this, it was about a 25% increase. While they didn't before, these interactions now provide magical experience, but it is quite a small amount. I'm giving this perk a 2 out of 5. Next up is Moat Hound, which is available at the Acolyte Spellcaster rank. Remember back to the task of collecting moats to become a spellcaster? Well, after you purchase this perk, they're back in the magic realm. You can collect them and eat them for a bit of magical experience, while a random need will also get a very slight boost. The XP is okay, but nothing groundbreaking compared to other methods. It can be a bit of fun to have a random moat to chomp on here and there, so there's points for storytelling and adding to the magical landscape. Overall, it's a 2 out of 5 from me. It's time to talk about Charge Control, which is available at the Adept rank. This reduces spellcaster charge gains from all methods. Testing this by repeatedly casting the Copy Pasto spell with and without the perk active, I believe this reduces charge gain by about a third. Overall, this is very handy, especially because it also reduces the charge gain from Magical Jewels. I'm giving this a 3 out of 5. Hex Proof becomes available at the Master rank and essentially means your sim will no longer be cursed. Ever. Now, yes, you can cure curses with a Potion of Curse Cleansing or the Decursify spell, but it's just nice not to have to worry about ever being cursed again. 4 out of 5 for me, because we love convenience. Finally, Magical Resonance is available at the Virtuoso rank. The abilities here are only active in the Magical Realm. Firstly, you can't die from death from overload, no matter how many times you overload in a row. In addition, the ability to build charge and discharge have their cooldowns lowered to about 30 game minutes, as opposed to being 1 hour for building charge and 8 hours for discharge respectively. On top of this, your potion making, potion drinking and spell casting will all have a higher rate of success. This is a great perk because it means there's literally literally nothing to worry about in the magic realm. You can spam spells as much as you like and train to get additional perks unlocked very quickly without having to worry about death. But it is a big oofed or restriction I should say that is limited to the magic realm so I'm giving it 4 out of 5. Alas, on to the potions mastery tree. We'll start with Blender Arm, which is available at the Neophyte Spellcaster rank. Based on testing this, it enables your sim to make potions twice as fast. Simple and well worth it in my mind, I'm giving it 4 out of 5. Next up is Frugal Combination, which you can attain at Acolyte rank. This means there's a chance that when you make a potion, it won't use all of the ingredients. I hate to say it, but it's rather useless because you still need the ingredients to start making the potion, and most of the time you'll be harvesting them in bulk or buying them in Caster's Alley in bulk. Meaning sometimes it's like, oh cool, I saved an apple. Other times you can save you more costly ingredients. Overall, I'm giving it 1 out of 5. A little extra chemistry is available at the Adept rank and it essentially means that when you drink a potion, you'll also get a plus 1 happy moodlet for a few hours. Honestly, I was a bit disappointed by this as it just felt so uncreative and I wish the effects were more varied. It's nice, but I'm not thrilled by the idea of more ways to get happy moodlets and I feel it's underwhelming. So I'm also giving this one a 1 out of 5. Mix Master is available at the Master rank and I love it. It means that all your brews will make six doses instead of four, which over time is huge and will save you so much time. One of the best perks you can pick up if you'll be making a lot of potions. I'm giving it four out of five. Potent Potables is available at the Virtuoso rank and in my opinion is the best perk there is. The first part of this is that it gives a huge duration boost to potions effects. This ranges from them lasting 50% longer to in some cases lasting double the duration. In addition, it allows your sim to hex potions. Hexing potions will mean that when a sim drinks it, it'll give the failed effect. This basically means you have control over negative potion effects, which adds heaps of gameplay. Not only this, it's also great for storytelling and I feel adds a lot of depth and creativity to the game. In my opinion, it's the best perk out there and I'm giving it 5 out of 5. On to the Spell Power Mastery Tree and we'll kick things off with Discharge at the Neophyte rank, which unlocks the ability to 
you guessed it, cast Discharge. This completely resets your charge and I've had pretty much every spellcaster in my game use it countless times. It does have an 8 hour cooldown but I'm still giving this 3 out of 5, possibly a 4 out of 5, I'm a little bit torn here, we're gonna go 4. At the Acolyte rank you'll unlock Power Shunt which sees all spells add significantly less charge. Testing this, I believe it to be about 50% less charge, basically meaning you can cast twice as many spells. Considering most of the time we're getting charged through casting spells anyway, I think this is super useful and you'll find it a lifesaver, honestly. I'm giving this 4 out of 5. Next is Spectral Reach, available at the Adept level. This means you can cast spells from afar and sims won't know who cast it, meaning they won't react negatively. It's cool for a dastardly spellcaster and it adds a touch of convenience and a bit of storytelling, but I feel it's less useful than the previous two in the tree and I'm giving it 3 out of 5. At Master Rank, Master Caster becomes available. Fitting, I know. This will mean spells will never fail in the normal spellcaster charge range, while backfires are greatly reduced in charged and overcharged states. Overall, this just means more successful spells more often. It's extremely handy knowing your spells will also never fail in the normal range too if you really need a success. I'm giving this 4 out of 5. Finally, at the Virtuoso rank, we have the Master Duelist, which will give a boost to your dueling prowess meaning you'll win much more and also means you'll reap better rewards. This is most noticeable when dueling for artifacts whereby you'll get two, not one. It's great for storytelling and adding to the idea of making a spellcaster really powerful, but overall duels are something that could have been done better and aren't that important. The additional rewards are also eclipsed by the fact that you can just buy a lot of these at Caster's Alley. It's a 3 out of 5 from me. Now it's time to talk about the stray perks. We'll start with the major disappointment that is Incredible Forager, which in my mind is an incredible fail available at the Neophyte rank. I have to put it out there, this is possibly the most useless thing in the entire Sims game that I have ever come across. This perk means you'll get one extra harvestable per plant you harvest in the Magic Realm. So if you're going to get three Mandrake, you'll get four. If you're going to get 10 apples, you'll get 11. It's especially awkward when you factor in that you can copy pasto on plants to duplicate an entire plant on your home lot. Yet this perk gives you just one extra harvestable and is only active in the magic realm. I'm giving this a 0 out of 5. Yes, a 0. Absolute waste of your perk points. Do not get this. We're moving on and we're never talking about this again. The Experimenter perk is next also available at Neophyte rank. This means that when experimenting and practicing, Sims game experience faster with less fails. Now, it wasn't substantial. This was hard to test, but I believe the boost is somewhere in the realm of 10 to 20%. Considering you'll be doing a lot of practicing and experimenting to learn new spells and potions, I believe there is a small place for it if you pick it up early. But I'm just giving this a two out of five, and that's being a little bit generous. Insightful Eye is available at the Acolyte rank and claims to greatly increase researching, experimenting and tomb reading speeds. Testing this, I believe it to be about 25% faster, but note that I'm basing this off of researching times, because tome reading before and after getting the perk seemed consistently inconsistent in terms of how long it took. If the 25% applies to all areas, I would say this is a somewhat useful perk, but nothing to go crazy over. I'm giving it a 2 out of 5. Spellcaster Socialite, which is available at the Acolyte rank, unlocks three new magical social interactions with other spellcasters, being enthused about magic, discuss overcharge risks, and talk about potion mishaps. Engaging in these interactions also provide a boost to your spellcaster experience. Note that the interactions can't be spammed on the same sim. I love this perk simply for the storytelling aspect, and I'm giving it a 3 out of 5, but I will caveat that I'm a bit biased here because I find this perk cute, and I like cute things. At the Adept rank, three different perks become available, being Practice Practicality, Mischief Master, and Tame the Untamable. Each of these targets a different branch of magic and means spells will always succeed when a sim is in normal spellcaster charge, while failure is greatly reduced in charge and overcharge states. Heard it before? Yes you have. It's essentially a Master Caster perk split into three separate perks that are more accessible to obtain. Useful if your sim is specialized in one area and isn't going down the spell power mastery tree, but otherwise I simply think these perks are outclassed by Master Caster, so I'm giving this a 2 out of 5. Natural Mentor is available at the Master rank and this significantly increases friendship gain and experience when training with other spellcasters. While it was very tricky to quantify, I could definitely tell the difference before and after the perk and if I was to guess, and I do want to stress that this is a bit of a guess, I feel it doubles both the relationship gain and the magical experience gain. 
Well worth it, as it adds a lot of value to an underused social aspect of the wizarding life. I would give it 3 out of 5. Magical Discounts is available at Master Rank and means all items for sale in Caster's Alley are 50% off. While this can save you a lot of simoleons, it's also not that hard to make money as a spellcaster, and so I'm giving this 2 out of 5. It's a nice to have, but not a necessity by any means. Alas, that's all the spellcaster perks in The Sims 4. If you enjoyed or found that helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it, and have an amazing day. See you later!